Yeah. Hello, my name is Ben. Today we're going to be uh, assembling a reverse bucket for uh, RX E260. Um, first thing I want to run through with you guys at home is you're going to want to set up your length of your reverse bucket shaft from center eye to center eye. It's going to be around 14 and an eighth of an inch. All right, and that's just going to make assembly for you guys a lot better. Um, then you're going to take the bracket that we supply with you guys. We're going to give you two extra bolts that are a little longer. And we're going to give you a uh, quarter 20 bolt here, which is a one inch quarter 20. And uh, you're going to want to run it through one end, come out the other end, put a nut on it, tighten it down the best you can. When you assemble it, you want to make sure that your two lines or your two holes right here are going horizontal and this bolt right here is shooting forward towards the front of the ski. You don't want to have it reversed and go the wrong way or you're going to run into binding issues with the bucket. So once you get this assembled, you got the two holes down here off the re reverse bucket mount. You know, want to uh, put your two bolts in the bracket plate. Wanna get the threads started. Make sure that they're in correct. You don't want to get them cross thread and strip them out and run into a bunch of problems with that. Once you get those in there and you know that the threads are good, you're not going to cross thread anything. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tighten it down. Make sure everything looks good. You're not running into any problems with anything. Once you got that reverse bucket bracket bolted in and it's tight, then you can go ahead and assemble your linkage. Once your linkage is assembled, go ahead and tighten it down. Once you get your steering linkage hooked up to the bracket, everything is tight. That's pretty much it right there. Um, what you're going to want to do is assemble your, your thrust adapter again. The reason I take the thrust adapter out is it just gives you a little more room to get in there. Um, a lot of times you'll be running into parts. And what I like to do is I like to snug up the two bottom bolts. You don't want to tighten them down a lot, but you just want to kind of snug them up. Make sure you get them all threaded. You're not going to cross thread anything, strip anything out. All right, so you're basically just going to run through, tighten up all four of your bolts. Once you know those are tight, you're ready for your next step. The next step is going to be connecting your, uh, your heim joint to the uh, quarter 20 bolt right here. And one thing about the uh, the Sea-Doo RXT 260 is the amount of travel forward and back that the uh, the reverse bucket motor has uh, pretty much makes the little bump stop bushing on the top of the bucket um, unnecessary. Reason being is you have about an inch from the bottom of the reverse bucket to the top of the ring here. Um, when you start it up for the first time, you might want to leave this nut out of your reverse bucket. The reason being is if you start it up and you put it in the forward yeah. mode as the, the bucket comes right, if you don't have the measurements close enough on your steering shaft, yeah. the bucket yeah. will bind on top of the thrust adapter and the, uh, the, the steering you know nozzle. You know okay, so that's right? something you kind of want to avoid. And uh, if you can get it set up to where from eye to eye you are around 14 and an eighth of an inch yeah. on the reverse bucket shaft, that yeah. should keep you out of trouble. Yeah. And it should be kind of a, just a basic setup for you so you don't have to worry about things binding or running into problems and whatnot. 
If you make it any shorter than that, it will bind on the top of this ring in the bucket and you'll have to undo the bolt and knock the heim joint out because it's going to be under, under tension. So uh, that's one thing you're going to want to keep an eye on with this. But it's, it's pretty, pretty straightforward as far as the assembly goes on the reverse bucket. Once you get it all assembled and uh, you think everything's good to go, you're going to want to start it up and uh, check your adjustments on forward and reverse. So, we're going to start it up and we'll show you what we're going to run into. Well, that's a reverse position. You got plenty of room back. Nice. Bring your neutral. your neutral position. Good. Now, bring it all the way forward. Now that's all the way forward right there. You got about that much room. So that's good. It's not binding on anything. It's not gonna run into any box. That's about it right there. So. Yeah, so if you can uh, you can get it set up to where when you have the reverse bucket in the forward position and it's sitting about a half an inch off the top of the steering uh, the steering ring, you should be good. And uh, that basically sums up installation of the uh, RXT 260 reverse bucket.